Hey guys, Sarah here from Budget Savvy Diva. So my team and I, we got together and we made a list of the top places to shop on Black Friday and the worst places, places to avoid to shop on Black Friday. So the first place and the place I know I will be shopping on Black Friday is Amazon.com. Amazon is amazing and there's a lot of reasons why. Number one, you're gonna find the best price cuts on Amazon. And I mean, their, their search engine is super awesome. You can put in whatever, like toy or whatever you're looking for. But I love the fact that you're able to see the reviews on what you're buying. Yes, you might think something's a great deal, let's say, uh, you know, uh, Macy's or something, but if you're not able to see the actual reviews, it could be something that's not great. And so that impulse item could be something that's actually a big regret. So Amazon is the best place on Black Friday. I know I will be shopping, I would say a majority of my stuff on Amazon.com. And that's a little known fact about me is I am actually not a huge in-store Black Friday shopper. I am actually online and that's a little tip for you guys is on Black Friday make sure you're hitting up my site. I will put a link below because on Black Friday I'll have a link below for Black Friday deals that you can just go there and when Black Friday deals when I find really hot ones they'll be there and you can grab them while I'm grabbing them there's gonna be so many posts on Black Friday on my site it's gonna be crazy I got my whole team working up for it so make sure you're doing that okay so get that one out of the way number two is Best Buy love Best Buy. I talked about it in a previous video. The best things to buy on Black Friday are things like Wii games, DVDs, Blu-rays, and one of the best places to buy it is Best Buy. Now a lot of times they have free shipping which is awesome and so you're able to snag that on Black Friday. I would say almost every retailer is gonna have free shipping on Black Friday or a pretty low minimum purchase for free shipping. So Best Buy is where you should um, be buying, yes, Blu-ray players, ebooks, tablets. I want to make sure I have everything there. Um, TV, TVDs, TVs, and Android phones. So any kind of electronics you should be buying at Best Buy. Um, beforehand, and beforehand, what I would do is make sure, like, to look at reviews of potential things you're buying, so you know what's good and what's not good. Um, what I Best Buy deals online are actually really good too. And that's why I'm saying like the free shipping. A lot of the things that I'm going to be buying is at home and you can get a lot of the same deals in store or online. Hopefully that made sense. The next thing is Home Depot. What I love about Home Depot, they will match competitor prices including Amazon. I'll repeat that again. Home Depot will match competitor prices including Amazon. You just have to show them a physical printout or physical ad showing it and they will match that price. Also, um, Home Depot typically has the biggest price cut on home appliances. That's one thing that I was talking to you guys about to buy our home appliances like dishwashers, dryers, washing machines, refrigerators, and they will also most likely have the Black Friday deals online. I saw, I've seen that year in and year out. Okay, so another great place to buy is Walmart. Walmart they are trying to become the biggest player in Black Friday and they think they're going to get their most sales this quarter and I think it's true. They have a great online resource and they have great in-store and I, honestly I like shopping from walmart.com. Um, a lot of times you can get you know, free ship to store or really low, low shipping or free shipping. And a lot of their items, including Wii games, I talked about it so many times before, like last year I got four Wii games for 20 bucks. I mean, that's $5 each. And my husband's been enjoying it. I just gave it for Valentine's Day, anniversary, birthday, that sort of thing. And just those little gifts are already filled in by things I snag on Black Friday. And also a lot of times you can double up on deals. So I ended up actually buying eight Wii games for 40 bucks. So, yeah. Um, what else about it? I don't want to miss anything. We, I have all my notes right here. Um, okay, yeah. And they also have lowest um, prices in toys. Also, Amazon has great pricing in toys as well. And the last one is Macy's. Macy's is great if you're needing a wide variety of items. Since you can get high quality items in all departments, that's one thing. Walmart has really great deals, but maybe not the highest quality products and um, Macy is less likely to run out of sales items because ten, 
people don't tend to run to Macy's when they think Black Friday. They tend to run to Walmart or Target. So Macy's is a good one if you're looking for higher end um, products and they tend to have actually pretty good sales. Um, if you, A lot of people are asking about clothes and clothes is something to buy at Macy's on Black Friday. They tend to slash. I know like jeans and stuff. I've seen really good prices year in and year out for that. Alright, so middle of the road. So one, it's on your list, you can go and you're fine. And that's Target. Um, so I put this on, I have a Black Friday Facebook page, I'll put that link below. I asked my readers um, if they remember those like gift tote bags that Target, I mean I was like five or six at the time, my parents used to go to Target for Black Friday and it was full of samples. Does anybody else remember that? I just remember there were a couple of years and they would come home with a baggie of samples and it was free from Target and I thought that was like the most awesome thing ever and now they don't give anything. Um, they have a deal on wide variety of items and such as apparel, kitchen supplies, electronics, um, but they don't price match during Black Friday. That's something that I've mentioned on my site before, but you can um, and you often can find better deals at Walmart. Target's fine. I mean, there's some things that I really like Target for more than Walmart. I mean, I am always Instagramming pictures at Target. I just really like the feel there. And um, small appliances are going to be at a great price at Target. Target.com, I don't like shopping as much as Walmart.com. I just don't think it's as user friendly, nor do I think that they had as much inventory as Walmart.com. Okay, the worst places to shop. The first one is one that I get asked, I think over 20 times so far this year, is going to the Apple Store. Should they be going to the Apple Store to pick up Apple products? And I say, uh, no. <laughs> because year in and year out, Apple knows that people want the iPad, people want, you know, the new iPhone. No, 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 no. Let me explain what you do. <laughs> you don't go to Apple because they usually only do a little percent off, and that's it. What you're going to want to do is Amazon.com and search for the product that you're searching for because Apple is giving those products, not giving it to Amazon, but it's being sent from Apple to you at a lower cost. Like I got my dad an iPad mini for his birthday, bought it for cheaper off of Amazon and was fulfilled by Amazon than buying it from the Apple store. So just know that, that if you're wanting to buy an Apple product, look elsewhere, you're probably going to find a better deal. A better deal in terms of a cheaper product plus bundled with an iTunes card or something. So no, no Apple store. Don't go there. I'll know. Okay, next thing, um, and people are really, really, really shocked by this one, is Toys R Us. <sighs> Toys R Us. Um, I have my own personal issues with Toys R Us in terms of their customer service. I've been po I've posted like great deals from Toys R Us and them not fulfilling the deals and not deals that was a price mistake, just good deals that they just don't fulfill and I've just had such a hard time with customer service over the years and that's just my personal gripe about Toys R Us. But um, toys are typically not great deal on Black Friday uh, to begin with and toys typically be higher priced for the same toy at another store like Target, Walmart, and Amazon. So toys go on sale on Black Friday, they can, like basically, Toys R Us is overpriced. And so they say, it's on sale, yay, yay, yay. But it's actually pretty much the same price that you would get on Target or Walmart or Amazon before Black Friday. So just go to Amazon. I mean, Amazon's gonna have every toy that Toys R Us has. They do have some of those um, door busters and I did do a Toys R Us sneak peek update on their ad and I'll put that in the link below because I know people are like crazy over it. and there are some like good door busters but Toys R Us I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. Okay next one is Office Max <sighs> and I talked about that before. Office Max you're just not gonna find good deals on office supplies. Um during Black Friday. Uh, they do have good deals on e-readers and tablets, but you won't, um, but they will not be as good as Target, Best Buy, Amazon, and basically they'll have deals on their other products, but it's not worth the hassle on Black Friday to get. I would just get the same products at Walmart, not on Black Friday. 
I'm just not a big fan of things like Staples Office Max when you can go to Walmart or Amazon to get the same thing for a cheaper price. That's just what I think. Okay, so the next one is Kohl's. Now, there's a two-parter to this. Now, Kohl's, if you didn't know, you can usually do a couple of coupon codes. So I do Kohl's usually Cyber Monday because Kohl's online usually does free shipping and a coupon code. Kohl's is notorious for up marking all their stuff like an insane price so they can say, oh, it's 50% off, but it's still superly overpriced, especially their apparel. So what I like to do, and I'll probably be posting a lot of Kohl's deals, is I wait until Cyber Monday when they're having like a 20% off code and free shipping code, and then I'm able to look on their site because their site is pretty friendly and doing from lowest to highest and looking at what's the lowest is and forming deals for that. Because I, a couple years ago, Actually, I still have them. A couple of years ago, I was able to stock up on Christmas sweaters, like just really nice, like wannabe cashmere, like Christmas sweater-ish things for my husband and boxer shorts that are cool, um, like Grinch-esque, I don't know, themed boxer shorts for my husband. And I was able to stock up, got them 90% off retail, and then I give them every year a couple more. I, if you don't know, I'm like a stock up gift person and then slowly I parcel them out. And so Kohl's is good for that when they have a great deal and you're able to do the free shipping and the, um, you know, percent off. But Kohl's for Black Friday, yeah, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is 80% off. But they are so overly marked up that it, there's no deal, especially apparel, especially apparel. There, There is no deal. So, yeah. So there's like Kohl's is bad to go into on Black Friday, but it's good when you're able to like search for the clearance, when you're able to search for the super, super clearance and you're able to pair that with free shipping. Whew, I was glad to get that out of my system. Okay, so I think there's actually only one more. Yeah, and that's Radio Shack. Why is Radio Shack still around? I don't know. Um, Radio Shack, they have some great deals, but they don't have a lot of items. The stores tend to be rather small, and it's not worth the pain and aggravation of going to Radio Shack for just one or two really great deals. You can get the same type of deals on Walmart.com um, or Amazon. I just don't like Radio Shack. I don't suggest going there. And, um... So basically, they open at 6 a.m. on Friday, I found out, with many people now starting Black Friday shopping on Thursday, which that is a whole rant video on itself of Black Friday stores opening like at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Not happy with that, but them opening up at 6 a.m., they're kind of losing on a lot of business to begin with, so it, they're just kind of not really even in the game at this point. Why are they still around? Like, I, I still don't understand. Um, I remember being like 16 and my dad being like, yeah, they're gonna be out of business soon. And I'm like, yeah, they are. And then they're still in business. So that's awkward. Anyway, um, I hope this helped you out. I would love if you would comment and tell me what you learned um, from this video, if it was helpful. I'll have a bunch of links below to more Black Friday videos. Um, where you can find the Black Friday deals and ads, my Black Friday Facebook page, and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome, and thumbs up this video, that would be awesome, and comment away. I love you guys, and bye until next time.